They say that Prague is the city of a hundred spires and it's pretty true. So today we're gonna go check out a new country. We're going to the Czech Republic. We're gonna go visit Prague. Okay, so whenever you get into the Czech Republic, you have to have a vignette on your car. So right as soon as you cross the border, um, there's all these little like, gas stations and little kiosks where you can stop and get a vignette sticker. Okay, so the vignette is actually an electronic vignette, so you just purchase it on, on the kiosk, and I think it's linked up to your license plate, so you don't have to worry about getting a sticker for your windshield anymore. Here's the garage that we parked our car. The parking garage is called Palladium Parking. It's the big mall garage. We were told to park here. Um, it was only a five minute walk from our Airbnb and really close to the old town. So we're here eating dinner at La Patrona. It's a little taco stand. This little roadside stand was only three minutes away from our Airbnb. So it's just so nice that you can walk to dinner and just get to enjoy the sights all around. Uh, and Griffin can just run around and it doesn't feel like we're in a, like a restaurant and people are staring at us. So this is a really good place to come. Even though we're outside eating, they do offer a blanket. Yeah, a blanket for you to use while you're eating outside. And it's, it's not too cold, is it? I'm cold. Are you cold? No. Yeah, it's not too bad, is I it? I said that. I got the pollo nachos. Lucas got the burrito. Mmm. Yeah, chips, yummy. We're back in our Airbnb. We're just gonna relax and take it easy for our big day tomorrow here in Prague. The food was really good. Wouldn't you say? Yes. Oh, yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, I actually would not, not mind to go back there. Probably tomorrow. Yeah, it was the best Mexican food we've had. Well, we're gonna see you guys tomorrow on our first day here in Prague. Okay, so we're getting ready to go to this uh, bistro and it is a pancake restaurant. So we're really excited to get some breakfast and start our day here in Prague. Lucas got the chive pancakes with ham and cheese. I got the banana Nutella pancakes. So I got the sweet pancakes. Lucas got savory pancakes. And Griffin got eggs. We just finished eating our breakfast and it was delicious. Oh, it was so good. Um, I had the bananas and Nutella pancakes. And I got the uh, chive pancakes with ham and cheese. Super good, it was, it was very good. Okay, so today for our first day in Prague, we are following a, a walking uh, tour that my friend uh, Guzzi created. And so first stop is here at the Kotec Gardens, which it has a really nice view of the, the whole city of Prague. So this is the Summer Palace. This is one of the most northern reaching Renaissance buildings. So these are the palace gardens. Unfortunately, it's not open until April, so we just missed it. After going around the palace gardens, we went through a security checkpoint and now we're here at the Prague Castle. And behind us is also the St. Vitus Cathedral. 
So we're walking into the cathedral. These guys right here standing. So cool. Okay, so we made it to the Czech castle. And supposedly this is the largest still functioning castle here in Europe. And it is still the seat of the Czech government. So we finished checking out the cathedral and some of the castle grounds and it we ended up here at this overlook where you can see the whole city of Prague. They say that Prague is the city of a hundred spires and it's pretty true. Walking to the bridge to cross, we found this little riverside area where you can feed pigeons and ducks and just see the bridge from kind of the water. So a super cool, peaceful spot just to come and take a little break from the hustle and bustle of see, trying to see everything here in Prague. Okay, found this little gingerbread. Uh, bakery Hold it out. Say, look. Who is it? Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. Peppa. Who is that? Peppa. Is she yummy? You gonna try her? No. <laughs> He's like, this is a toy. So evidently Prague is well known for their gingerbread. So we saw that this was a really unique statue to check out. <laughs> so here at the Kafka, the Franz Kafka Museum. No. Usually I think there's water coming out and it's not working right now, so it's quite comical if it is working, I'm sure. Okay, so we're here at the John Lennon wall. Um, so back here is a picture of John Lennon that was originally painted on this wall um, after his assassination. And from the 1980s, it has kind of served as a symbol um, of freedom. And it's uh, constantly filled with you know, graffiti and different messages uh, promoting uh, freedom from the regime and just individuality. It's a very popular place for people to sign the wall or put whatever message they want to, they want to share. It's pretty neat. We're here on the Charles Bridge. It used to be the only bridge that would connect the old town and the new town together. All along the bridge there are about 30 statues that you can see as you're walking across the bridge to the old town. It is believed that rubbing this statue will bring you good luck and a swift return to Prague.
Try this restaurant, it has open face sandwiches. Okay, so we got a couple of open face uh, sandwiches here. So in Prague, these are pretty, pretty popular, um, they're especially popular for like celebrations or holidays and things like that. So we're gonna give it a try. So I got the ham, Lucas got roast beef. So Lucas liked this so much, he got another one. Yeah, this one's a crab. Crab. And he got me this apple. Looks like pizza. Kind of like what you get at pizza places. Dessert pizza. You have a Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. Is it yummy? We're in this toy store called Hamley's and they have a carousel and a huge slide that goes from the top floor to the bottom floor. We were told to come here and just check it out so Griffin and Lucas are about to ride the carousel and we're just gonna check out some more of this place. This toy store is insane. They have these like ball pit diggers. They have these like remote control cars. And they have like an arcade. Griffin's in heaven with all like the bright lights and all the fun things that you can do. Put them in the hole, pick them up, pick them up, put them in the hole. Pick them up, pick up the ball. <laughs> I think Lucas is having more fun than Griffin. <laughs> we traded in Griffin's tickets for two glow in the dark bracelets. It's pretty much a win in my book. Okay, so we got this popular street food. It's called a trudelnik. It is a pastry that is uh, cooked over over a fire on like a spit, and then you can fill it with ice cream or whipped cream or fruit, or just eat it by itself. So it's really good. Okay, so the last time we checked in, uh, we just gotten our dessert, and Griffin loved that. It was re it was really good. Um, but as we were walking back to the Airbnb, he had a total meltdown. <laughs> so um, really, he was just so tired. He didn't really get a good nap today, so he fell asleep on the way back, and he is still asleep right now. So right now it is like eight o'clock. Um, so we let him nap, and while he was napping, I went out to try to catch the sunset and try to see if I could get some good, good pictures of Prague. Uh, so now I'm just gonna get some dinner. Um, I'm at a Asian restaurant. Um, I'm gonna get some, some pho, 
uh, for me and Maria. I'm gonna get Kung Pao Chicken to go to take back to the Air Airbnb for her. So I think it's just gonna be a chill night. So since Lucas got to go have a nice quiet meal by himself, he brought me some back. Griffin fell asleep after the toy store and is still asleep and it is 8.40. So hopefully he sleeps tonight. So we'll see how good this food is. I got the Kung Pao chicken and it came with a side of white rice and they even gave me a free Coke. There's this little market going on. We saw it the other night when we got here. And they have crepes and wine and punch and some Easter stuff. Super cute. So we got a ham and cheese crepe and a cinnamon crepe. So actually in Czech they call them palasinkis. Um, I got the cinnamon one. We're gonna check out this Jewish synagogue. It's supposed to be really beautiful on the inside. Okay, so this is the restaurant we're gonna eat at for lunch. It's called Locale. It is a uh, traditional Czech restaurant. So here at the restaurant, the beer comes straight out of these tanks here at the bar. And they come right off tap, and you can have yourself a beer. Lucas got the pork neck with mashed potatoes. I got roast beef with the potato dumplings and cranberry jam. And Griffin got snitch and potatoes. So we just finished eating at the restaurant. It was very good. Um, I almost think I like German cuisine better. They're very similar, but it was very good. So we're on our way to this playground that's on an island and we stopped at the bake shop to get some goodies. Yummy. <laughs> Carrot. Mm. We're here at the Old Town Square. We're gonna check out the astronomical clock. It is actually the only working astronomical clock left in the world. There's a legend saying that the clockmaker who made this clock had his eyes gouged out so we could never make this clock again or anything similar to this. So we walk to this island has a playground and then a nice little park for kids. I see you. You swinging? Woo! Oh wow! We stopped at that bakery on our way here, and I got a tiramisu. <laughs> I guess we took too long to walk here, so it should still be yummy. So you can rent paddle boats here at this little island. It's a little too cold today, but maybe next time. 
We're here at the Old New Synagogue. It is the oldest active synagogue here in Europe. This is the Klausen Synagogue. This is the entrance to the cemetery. So everything is closed. We're not sure if it was just closed because it's Sunday or we just got here late. But it's still really sobering to see everything and to learn more about the history of the Jewish people here in Europe. So here is a view of the cemetery through the gates. So we had to come back and get another one. It's just so good. We end up always coming back through the old town square. We can't stay away. So we're here at the train restaurant. It's called Batokna, and the train brings your drinks. Not sure if it brings your food, but yeah, Lucas thinks it does. So this is so cool. Griffin is loving it. So we just finished eating at the Railway restaurant. It was very good. Um, it's highly recommended if you, especially if you have children. Griffin loved it. He loved watching the trains go by with all the drinks and the food. Okay, so we're wrapping up our weekend here in Prague. I think it was really cool. There's definitely a lot to see, so we will for sure come back. As always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.